this is Ramin. Welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trade Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 trades. Today we'll take a look at a pin bar trade setup. We are looking at a bullish pin bar. A bullish pin bar is a bullish reversal pattern and we're looking for this pin bar to be set up at an important support and resistance level. Once we see the bullish pin bar, we're looking for the trade to move up. So we're looking for price to go up. So we're taking a long trade after we see the bullish pin bar. So let's go on to the charts and we'll take a look at what a bullish pin bar looks like, how to identify it, where to enter the trade, where to place the stop loss, and most importantly, how to exit the trade with a profit. Here we're looking at a bearish pin bar trade setup. This is pound US dollar 15 minute chart. A bearish pin bar is this candle here where we have a long wick on the top, a big tail and then a very small body. So this shows us that price has been rejected. As you can see here, price was moving higher. Then it goes into the support resistance level here coming from here previously. And then we see price gets pushed down, creating this pin bar here. So this shows us that price is being rejected. And now sellers have stepped into the market and chances are that price is going to push lower. Once we see this bearish pin bar here, we're looking for a short entry because this is a bearish reversal signal. And now we're looking for price to drop. So in this case, we can either take a trade at the close of this pin bar. However, I have found that a lot of times pin bars will have a bit of pullback. So you can wait for about 50% pullback on the pin bar, or you can just enter the trade as soon as the bearish pin bar candle closes here. So if we enter the trade short, our stop would go above the pin here. We just want to make sure uh, price has enough room or trade has enough room to breathe just in case price wants to come and test this level once again. So we enter the trade short and we stay with the trade as long as price is moving lower. We see this a big drop here and then price pulls back. But we see that price is holding below this uh, internal hair support resistance level. So price goes up then it gets uh, rejected there, tries that again, tries that several times. We see that price is not able to break higher, which suggests that chances are it's going to drop further, especially after we get this big bearish candle close here. This is a confirmation that price is likely to move lower. So we can stay with the trade as long as price is staying below this support resistance level here. And then we see this big bullish engulfing candle close here that engulfs this previous of uh, three candles here that shows that price could now pull back or it could reverse direction. So that's a good level for us to exit the trade. So just to recap, a bearish pin bar is a, a single candlestick trade setup. And this is why I like it so much. We only have one candlestick to worry about. And this candlestick looks like this. We have a long wick on the top. Um, and a small candle body. And this shows us that price is likely to reverse directions and drop. So we are going to take a short trade. So we enter the trade short here. Our stop would go above the pin here, making sure there's enough room for trade to breathe. And then we stay with the trade as long as price is dropping. And once price starts to pull back here, we notice that price is holding below this previous support resistance area. So we can stay with the trade or if you wanted to, you can always exit out the trade here. Um, but if you stay with the trade, we see this nice uh, pin bar or a big bearish candle close here. And we also see lots of pins um, to the top here, which shows that price is not willing to go higher. And this is why we could stay with the trade and we can continue lower here. Once we get this bullish engulfing candle close, now the momentum is shifting. So this is a good place for us to exit the trade. From entry to exit here, we get 115 pips in the trade. So our profit is 115 pips or 1,100 $150 if trading one standard lot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this trade setup. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. That's it for today. I will see you next time.